We got to talk about Soldier Boy here. Soldier Boy is in our office today because he has been accused by a lady named Jane Doe. All right. Now, when I hear what he put Jane Doe through, allegedly, to me, I feel like she's a Maria San Lope de, uh, de Jesus Guadalupe. I feel like she's, you know, I just, I, I feel, I feel like she is. You know, it, it, it's not giving me Keisha necessarily. It's not giving me Samantha. It's giving me Maria Guadalupe de Jesus. La Rosa is what it's giving me. So Soldier Boy is being accused by a Jane Doe of hiring a sit an assistant, all right? And for $500 a week. So already, Soldier Boy, I have to diagnose you as being a damn s slave owner. For five hundred dollars a week in sunny California, he hired this Jane Doe to be his assistant, to be his cook, to be his chauffeur, and anything else he needed done, which means sucking his dick balls and spreading his crack and licking his ass without him even taking a shower first. Y'all know how niggas do. They come right in from cutting grass and they want some head. That's y'all problem. I'm just saying, that's what niggas do. And so not only did he put Jane Doe through all of this for only $500 a week, which is pennies in California. $500 a week is not enough to, to, to bathe a cricket in Los Angeles. Come on, soldier. Come on, Big Draco. You can come out your pockets more than that. Damn. Not the entrepreneur paying only $500 a week to Jane Doe. Golly. But the assistant says that instead of just being able to come and do her job, was that he beat her. And no, he didn't beat her pussy up. He beat her face up. He then held her hostage. At one point, because apparently Soldier Boy is now trying to channel R. Kelly, Bill Cosby, Hugh Hefner, and the like. Allegedly locked her in a room for three days without any water. Locked her in her so long that she thought she was going to die. And then when she was able to come out, he beat her again almost to the point of death. Allegedly. Never paid her, not nan lick a sense of nothing. So she worked enslaved and got beat and assaulted for weeks for nothing. And now she is allegedly suing. But see, this ain't the first time that Big Draco been accused of beating a woman. Y'all remember Neil Riley on, on Marriage Boot Camp? He went after her. She, ah! You know, she screamed just like when you, when, you know, when, when, your, mama, when your mama's going to give you a whooping. Because you got PTSD. Because most of y'all were abused. That's another story for another day. I know you're not ready to admit that. That's another story for another day, though. And, and then you did you all remember the, the most recent girl that said that, you know, he hit her with a gun? Big Draco over there channeling R. Kelly and Bill Cosby. Big Draco over there at his house said if the OGs are locked down, I'm going to carry the torch. But Big Draco... If they can take down Bill Cosby and R. Kelly, they definitely can take you down. Wake up out the bed, turn my swag on. You would definitely be turned off pretty quick. Big Draco, we don't want to see you now locked up in the pen. Because Big Draco, you will really have to fight in there. Won't be no guns to fight them niggas off. Won't be no fake boxing battles with Chris Brown. It will be real. Let me, before I go in further, can y'all believe this? Do y'all believe this story? Do y'all believe this story? Because she said he held her locked her in a room, wouldn't let her out, wouldn't let her do nothing, get nothing, eat nothing unless she performed sexual favors for him. Dick ass and balls. And I said, well, damn, this sounds a lot like R. Kelly. This sounds a lot like Bill Cosby, you know? Except Bill Cosby at least would have gave you some wine and a little quaalude so you won't feel when he's violating you. At least R. Kelly let you go downstairs, get some pizza and chicken wings. You might have to ask daddy first and let him watch you use the bathroom and shit it out after before you flush the toilet. But he would at least let you go and eat. Them girls are well fed. But not Big Draco. Big Draco didn't even let the girl get no damn water. I'm still trying to figure out why she took all this. She took this damn job position for only $500 a week. That's why I'm telling you. I feel like he smuggled this girl in from Mexico. Anyway, as a part of your script, Soldier Boy, 
We will be going into your house and doing a full investigation. We will be tapping into every phone you have, every social media account that you have, every email that you have. So don't be like Hillary Clinton over there deleting them Pizzagate emails. Hey, Hillary, we still ain't forgot about Pizzagate. You remember Pizzagate? Mm hmm. I ain't never forgot it. Clinton. You know you like them children in Brazil. Okay, I'm moving right along. So, we're going to go in your house and do a full investigation. We're taking all social media, all phones, on everything. We are also actually uh, uh, going to be talking to everybody that's in your crew. So, your whole little swag team, we will be interviewing everybody and asking them the same questions over and over and over again until we get the answer that we want. In addition to that, Big Draco. We will be freezing all of Big Draco's money until this woman, till Jane Doe, is properly compensated for the abuse that she went through. See, guess what? Big Draco, she's going to have to be paid for her pain. All right? And you will pay for the sick-ass pleasure that you got. Damn, Big Draco, is this how we going out? Is this how we going out? Next part of your script, I want you to fight Chris. You got to fight them now. There won't be no backing out and there won't be no preparation. You got to fight Chris. If you did this woman like this, it's time to fight Chris. Y'all both some damn woman beaters. Damn, y'all will whoop a hose at. I'm just saying. Big Draco. Got to do better than that. <sighs> you a sick ass nigga that been in this industry three years too long. You've been trying to shove your rotten pudding pop all up in and through Jane Doe for nothing. Soldier, ain't you listened to anything I told y'all niggas? I told y'all stop sleeping with Selena Powell. Every time you fuck her, you're fucking your nigga. You're fucking your brother. You're fucking your homie. But it's Hollywood. So homies fuck homies in Hollywood. Bros fuck bros. And it be the most muscle bound bros. With ass is wider than Chattahoochee River. I mess up that joke, whatever. I told y'all niggas, you pay for your hoes. There's way too many hoes in Hollywood that you can pay. That you ain't got to lock them up. I think y'all get bored. I think y'all get so bored with y'all money. I think that y'all get so traumatized and y'all have to do so much shit to seal deals and make record deals go through that y'all want to you know hurt people hurt people so y'all want to invoke that kind of violence dominance and control on somebody else when you're in position to because when you were new and up and coming and coming in the game you know what you had to go through witness and or see this shit is pitiful last part of my script for all of the pictures of you and A-Rab from back in the day, especially that short little snippet video of you quickly humping A-Rab in the front, all the suspect pictures, I'm ordering them from whatever archives you sent them to. They will be back. We will be putting them back on the internet and we will be dissecting them. Oh yeah, because when that shit came out about you and Arab, you bullied a few blogs into squashing those stories. But that was in the early two. That was mid two thousands. We in a whole new world. Those that that was media takeout days. When you know we was coming home from school to see what media takeout had to say every day. A whole new world. I remember them Illuminati DVDs, Soldier Boy. They were selling them in a barber shop, and there's about a five second clip of you humping the shit out of Arab, and then you locking them outside of the hotel room because he didn't want to play along with them games. It's some suspect shit with Bow Wow doing this, doing this. Hey, like it's some suspect shit. A lot of y'all didn't understand what the internet was and what it was gonna be back then, but my memory's impeccable. When I want it to be. Anyway, Yamaya's Gift is a brand that specializes in medicinal herbs and all natural supplements to help alleviate a lot of conditions that Americans suffer from, okay? Now, Yamaya's Gift got products to help you with that hypertension, to help speed up that weight loss, get rid of them fibroids, as well as help alleviate the symptoms of that diabetes. Oh, yeah, that sugar, that sugar is real bad. So, now with Yamaya's Gift, you get a lot of gifts, but the best gift that anyone could ever give you is the ability 
to heal thyself from the inside out with products like elderberry syrup to help keep that immunity in check because we all fighting miss rona we all trying to windmill her ass up out of our lives but one of my personal favorites as a matter of fact two of my personal favorite products with your mindless gift is the all natural honey and the tea that's for men and the reason why i like those products is because if you are somebody with a low sex drive and you need a boost in the bedroom and if you are ready to get brian pompered lexington steeled all night long then just put some of that in your man's cup and you will be on your way to a happier healthy marriage all right now place your orders today whether you need your immunity taken care of you're trying to lose some weight you're trying to get rid of that sugar the diabetes or you're just trying to bust a nut okay order her shit at www.yamayasgift.com